Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on the game, Life is Strange. Now, as you know, Life is Strange is an episodic graphic adventure video game that was developed by non toned Entertainment and published by Square Phoenix, who also did the Avengers game. Now, pretty much the game has been released on Microsoft Windows, PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. And additionally, there are five episodes. And the premise of the game is meant to feature Max Caulfield, who is meant to be attending Blackwell Academy back in October 2013. And after having a dream of a freaky tornado, she finds out she has the ability to rewind time. And of course, ends up running into her old childhood friend Chloe, who is voiced by Ashley Butch, who also voiced Enid in OKKO, OK and also known for playing Ash in Final Space. Now, the two characters I would say are quite similar, but quite different. Max is meant to be more of the voice of reason, and more expecting Chloe to be a bit more responsible. Well, Chloe is arguably a dumb, irresponsible, selfish monster, who basically doesn't realise her own actions or doesn't think things through. And of course, throughout the game, we see how Max tries to, you know, find out more about a, a unhinged student known as Nathan, who's who ruined Kate's life from drugs and tries to find out more about what he's really up to. And of course, it's up to you as the player to use your time powers to find out more to what's going on. And I would say the point of the game has a message that we shouldn't let nostalgia cloud our judgment on an old friendship. And I think we've all been there when we've wanted to reconnect with a friend, but sometimes the friend is either too far gone, or just want to believe they're doing what's right. I feel when I did play the game, I had it that Max would be the voice of reason to Chloe, like stopping her from stealing money for the handicapped, would have also stopped Chloe from using her stepdad's gun and hid it from Frank's RV, and even reuse her time powers to save Frank's dog, because I think the point of Max is that she's meant to realise who her friends really are, because you can kind of tell Warren, who is this nerdy big film buff, does actually care about Max and does see a lot of potential in her. When you've got Kate, you can kind of tell Max really does try to be a friend and really expects Kate to sort of pull through this. And when you've got Victoria, you can tell Max really does want to be a friend and does see good in Victoria, which reminds me of Marinette and Chloe from Miraculous Ladybug. And of course, there are some characters that do have flaws, but you do realise why they're the way they are. When you've got David, Chloe's stepdad, his actions and behaviour is justified through a lot of memes as he wants to set up surveillance cameras to keep people safe and thinks he's doing what's right. And of course, when you kind of got, got say, Principal Wells, you can tell he does try his best with the students, but constantly gets annoyed with everything that's going on. And when you got Warren, that he's a guy with a heart of gold and he's meant to realise, you know, he does care about Max and does want what's best for her. And throughout the game you can use Max's rewind powers to sort of go through things, either, either grab items and go back the time before it happened, also to undo damages and even saving people and friends, which does work. And I think my only real problems was when you had episode 4, this really could have had you had more time to get to know the alternative Chloe. See it how the changes have affected everyone else, and having Max slowly realise 
if there was for the best. You could have had episode 5 being Max and also Chloe putting the pieces together. Have that a 6 episodes made to sort of have Max see what the new timeline again is. And episode 7 to be the final one. And I would say that the message about not letting nostalgia cloud your judgement on an old friendship does work. And you can kind of tell Max starts to see that Chloe has changed. And the point of Max's character is meant to realise that Chloe changed for the worse. And that Chloe is meant to be a selfish, hypocritical and dumb monster. And, and doesn't really think any through of her situations. Max is meant to be the responsible one. Like telling principal, the principal about the gun. Also telling... Also, basically, making sure that Chloe doesn't do anything stupid. And I think, while the game isn't perfect, the message about not letting nostalgia cloud your judgement on an old friendship does work. Because we're not supposed to let friendship cloud our judgement years later. While I think it's not the best game, I think the message is definitely there. So, the game deserves... A thumbs in the middle. It's kind of okay, kind of alright, but really it's not one of the best. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.